Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about Nash Market in Vienna. If you're planning a trip to Vienna, then I definitely recommend you put this on your list of places to go visit. It's a wonderful market with just so many different things to look at. If you're looking for something to eat, it has so many cool restaurants, really good variety. The quality is really good at all of them. If you're looking for some gifts for people back home, it has a bunch of clothing, it has food. If you wanna get something to eat, it has that. If you want chocolates, cheese, if you wanna go have a drink, it has pretty much everything. And I just find it's a really wonderful place. It's one of my favorite places in Vienna. And I, I love Vienna and there's a lot of really cool places in Vienna to go visit. But I would say this is probably, if not my favorite, definitely one of my favorites in Vienna. That's why I wanna make this video and show you what it looks like there. I didn't take a lot of footage, although I do have some footage during the day and in the evening. So I'm gonna show you both of that and I'm gonna talk through it as we're looking at that footage so I can kind of explain what you're seeing and what you should go check out when you're there. So with that, let's take a look at the footage. So I'm just walking towards the market there now and you can kind of see at night, it just kind of looks magical. It's got the different lighting of the different buildings and I'm coming towards it now, kind of going north and I'm turning right. This gentleman's not quite sure what I'm doing. It's quite funny, I'm holding a very small camera and I think some people might have thought I was the COVID police. Some of the weird looks I was getting was interesting. I'm kind of going into the market here now and I'm in the restaurant area there now and you can kind of see some of them are closed. This is just the day before the COVID lockdown and normally this would be super busy with people. This is an, an Asian restaurant right there. There's a lot of different variety of restaurants but as you can see, it's pretty empty, but typically this would be pretty full of people right now, this, that time of year. This was in November. That little place on the left there, that's a little place for drinking wine and wine tasting. It was very popular and it was actually quite busy, as you can see, even though they were about to do COVID lockdowns the very next day. I actually flew out the morning after this was filmed in November. Uh, they had a big COVID spike and they were closing everything down, doing a big lockdown, so I thought I might as well might as well leave, and as you, it looks kind of deserted. Now we're going across the street. So there's several blocks of this market, and it's quite large. And so now I'm in another section across the street, more restaurants. This was actually the area, probably my favorite area for restaurants. And right now we're coming up to one of the seafood restaurants that I ate at. This is called Nautilus. You can see the fellow's jacket there. The service there was very good. It was very professional really good service and the food was great too. I had the calamari, I had some wine and some other dishes there and it was all excellent. But you can see as you walk down there's restaurant, restaurant, restaurant and they're all different styles and you can see you can go inside and eat if you want uh, or you can eat outside and I did both. I think that if it's a little bit cold outside it's always nice to go inside if it's a bit windy but you can also see that they've got the heat lamps there and above you. And so that really helps to warm you up. And the seats are quite comfortable. You'll see in a minute, they've got some fur seats. Well, they have like a fur covering on the seats, which makes it very nice and warm as well. So you can see some of these restaurants are either closed or there's just not a lot of people in them. And that's really just due to COVID. So my apologies, I couldn't film it as it normally looks, but due to COVID, I managed to get whatever I could for you just before I flew out. And you can kind of see though from the lights and the atmosphere, even though there's not a lot of people, how it kind of looks a bit magical, right? Yeah, so I think now we're just walking up to, oh, there's some of the fur, it's fake fur. This place here, I think this is Nemi. They do kind of uh, Indian type of, almost Asian type of cuisine, and it's really delicious. So now we flipped over to daytime. I'm walking through, showing my friend Sean, we're walking through, looking for some gifts to bring back home and we're just kind of walking through the market area here now. So now we've kind of gone from the restaurants at night and now we're gonna go and take a look and buy some chocolate, some cheese. I think we're gonna also look for some scarves and things like that. So there's some more restaurants there. These are kind of more fast food style and we've realized, oh, let's go over to where they're gonna sell different products. So not too busy, you can tell. This was actually filmed before the evening footage, so I'm kind of doing it in reverse chronological order here. You can see some baked goods there, and uh, let's see what else we got going on here. 
There's some another gentleman looking at my camera. Everybody was a bit suspicious of that. There's some treats there. There's lots of desserts, lots of fruit and vegetables. And all of the fruit and vegetables there looked amazingly good quality. So if you're there, you want to stock up on some produce, I highly recommend you go and take a look at that. It was a bit busy in this section. I think a lot of people were just buying some groceries. Now we're going through, oh, this place with the olives was just fantastic. And as I was coming out past that area, the salesperson there was kind of yelling at me, hey, hey, try some of my olives. And I couldn't get away because he knew I was interested. And he reached across and gave me an olive to try. And oh my God, it was so delicious. Probably the best olive I've ever had in my life. And I eat a lot of olives. And I think this, I thought this was Turkish delight. If you know what this is, please leave the com some comments down below and let me know what it is. I thought it was Turkish delight, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's something else. I didn't try it. I, I got to go back and try some of that, I think. But uh, there's some more of it there. And uh, there were some scarves there I just saw briefly. My friend Sean, he did buy some scarves at, at that place. And they're really good pricing. So I think you're looking at about 10 to 15 euros for a, a nice cashmere or wolf scarf. And now we're getting to the end of the block. Now we flipped over to where they're doing the flea market on Saturday. And so I'm walking through, and this is legendary. A lot of people go to this, and I'm in there just as they're closing down. So it's thinning out a little bit. The crowd isn't very big, but you can kind of see all the different treasures that are out there. And yes, sure, there's some junk there as well, but there was some amazing stuff. And I think if you are into that sort of market, this would definitely be worthwhile taking a look at. So if you can get there on Saturday, and walk through and take a look. I think that would be pretty interesting. I'm not too into those sort of markets, but for me, that was it was pretty fascinating to see some of the stuff that they had there. And like I said, they're just closing down, so a lot of people had moved all their stuff away. And so you're not really seeing the volume of what was there earlier in the day. So I'm sure that would have been really fascinating had I got there a bit earlier. So that's a brief walkthrough of the Nash Market in Vienna, both what it looks like at night and also during the day. It is one of a few markets in Vienna. It's the most well-known market. There are a few other markets, which some people say are as good. Uh, that would be hard to do, I think, in my opinion, because this market is just so cool. The food alone, the food experience, the dining experience was just so good. I've eaten there now half a dozen times, and every single time I eat there, it was just amazing. The food quality was amazing. The service was great. The wine was great. The atmosphere was great. The people, my neighbors sitting next to me were awesome. Had some conversations with people. So overall, I think if you just want to have a relaxed, fun evening, I would definitely go check it out. During the day when it's not COVID, so as we saw, a lot of places were closed there due to the COVID lockdowns, which were happening the next day. But typically you've got about 120 stalls to choose from. Not all of those are restaurants, so that's in total. So there are some food stalls, some clothing stalls, some restaurant stalls and et cetera, right? So just a, a great overall experience. If you wanna walk through on a Saturday, I would probably save the whole morning for that. If you want to just go have a bite to eat, of course, in the evening, I would recommend that. Probably dinner. I've been there for lunch. That's fine as well. But I think the dinner dining experience there is a little bit more uh, special for me because I'll sit down. I'll be there for a couple hours. I might share a bottle of wine with somebody. You know, I think that's very special. If you're there with your partner, I think it is kind of romantic, especially that time of year, November, they've got all the Christmas lights out and things like that. So I think it's well worth visiting. I'm going to put a link down below to one of the websites that I would highly recommend that I found very helpful. It has links to all the restaurants. And then within that, you'll find all the menus for those different restaurants. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully you found this helpful. I highly recommend you go check it out. And uh, yeah, it's just awesome place. So yeah, have fun. Happy trails.